What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to send an email with a selected range. So on the right here, I've got a table and what we're going to do is include this in the email body that we're going to be sending with Outlook. So in order to do this, we're actually going to have two modules and we'll start with the second module because it's literally just us copying and pasting. There's a very popular function that we're going to use. It's from Ron D. Bruin. And uh, I'll have a link to the website in the description. But this person was able to come up with this amazing function that actually does all the hard work for us. So all we literally have to do is copy and paste this function here, range to HTML. And this will be able to convert whatever table, whatever range we have in Excel into an HTML format that can go into the Outlook email body. So yeah, let's copy and paste this. into the second module and we can leave that alone and we'll go right into the first module we'll call this sub email range and then we'll declare our variables we're gonna have out app as object out mail as object um, let's go ahead and have account for the number of columns and number of rows so that it won't matter what how big the range is we'll be able to account to account for it. so any dynamic range will work for this code so let's go ahead and call the number of rows count underscore row this will be our count down and then we'll have a count underscore column for the number of columns going this way. And those will be integers. Then we'll have a range for this entire range here. And we'll just call it population or pop. And this range will be based off of the count row and count column variables. So now we're going to have our strings, which are going to make up our email body. So we'll have string one, str1, and str2 as strings. All right. So now let's go ahead and set our out app equal to create object outlook application and we'll set out mail equal to out app dot create item zero all right, so let's go ahead and now we're going to do our row and column counts. So we can start off with count row. And that's going to be equal to worksheet function. Dot count a range. Is going to start here in this first cell so a1 and then we'll reference a1 again and then we'll do an end XL down so that'll count down here so count row should he be equal to six at this point and now we'll have a, a column count it's going to be the same thing so let's copy and paste this oops 
Oops. I'll just type it out. All right. One range A1. And this time we're going to do an XL to right. So this will be counting from here to the right. So at this point, um, count call should be three. So now we can set pop, which is going to be our range, equal to sheets. And this is a uh, sheet one that we're referencing. Let me go ahead and move this up just so you can see it. It's sheet one, but I can change this to populations. All right. And we're referencing cells one, one. That'll be the start of our table. So this here. And then we want this cell here, which we get from our count row and count columns. So now we have cells, count row, and count underscore call. So this is going to be count row, which is six, so down six. And then count call is three, so down six over three. So we're there. Now we can go work on our strings for the email body. So str1 is going to be, so we're going to be writing this in HTML. So body style. And we'll select our font size. Let's go with 12. And then font family, we can do um, Calibri. Or let's do Arial because I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> oh, no, there it is right there, actually. I'll just copy that. One second. Sorry. Got it. So now I want to continue to the next line. So I'll do an ampersand on an underscore and keep it going. And what we're gonna say is, hello team. And then I'm gonna have a break. And then another break to the next line. Please see the figures below. And then I'll have another break to the next line after that. So then str2, or string2, is going to be what the end of the message is going to be. So let's have another break. This will be after our table. I'll just put best regards. And then break. And then my name, Greg. Now let's go on to the email information we're going to be using. So without mail, this is going to, you can send it to whoever you want. I'm going to make up an email address, so I'll just do it to team at 123.com. Um, CC, I'll leave that blank. And BCC, I'll also leave that blank. The subject, let's reference this table here with the subject. So 
This is actually a list of the top five populations in the world. It's probably not up, not up to date, but this is from a, a website that I found online. I'll put a link to that description. I'll put a link to that website in the description as well. Um, so the subject is going to be equal to largest countries by population. And then we want to display the email message and not automatically send it. After that, we're going to do HTML body. And that's going to be equal to our string, our first string. So this here, hello team, please see the figures below. And then we want to use this function from module two. So we're going to reference range to HTML. And our range is going to be pop. Then after pop, after this range, we are going to say best regards, Greg. So that's going to be str2. And then you have to reference HTML body again. Now we can end our width. On error, go to zero. So we can set out mail equal to nothing and also out app equal to nothing. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and run through the code really quickly. All right, let's see this thing work. There you have it. We're sending it to team at 123.com. Subject is largest countries by population. And the message reads, hello team, please see the figures below. And here's our table. Best regards, Greg. So what we can also do is change the font size. So I can make this 20 and I'll change this to impact and run it again. And you notice how the table format didn't change at all. In order to change the table format, you have to change it directly in Excel. So if I do this, let's make this red. Let's make the letters white. Let's change the font size. Let's make this 18. All right. And there you go. So just a quick tutorial on referencing the uh, famous range to HTML function. It's pretty awesome. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate you for watching. Have a good one.